We really need to have a talk about UPS drivers. I want to know where UPS finds these guys. For real. Do they only hire the best of humanity? Or do they hire these guys and like put them on some kind of like conveyor belt into a machine and then out pops a person who is just a better human being than everybody else? I really want to know what this process is. I need answers. There's this one time we had like two feet of snow and I have a driveway that goes uphill both ways. Yeah. And this UPS driver was worried about taking his truck down our driveway, understandably. Do you know what this guy did? He carried this giant box through two feet of snow down like a 300 foot driveway and put it on our back door. Do you know what was in that box? It was a punching bag. It was a freaking punching bag that this guy walked through two feet of snow carrying uphill both ways. No, I did not order a punching bag right before we were supposed to have snow. Someone else gifted it to us. Do you know what I did after that? I found out that guy's name. And then I got him a Cold Stone Creamery gift card. And I got him a thank you note. And I wrote in it, Travis, you are the man. You are so awesome. You are much better than any FedEx driver. FedEx sucks. Don't ever change. Love you. There was this other time I had, I had a two second interaction with a UPS man at my door. And I was like in a bad mood, okay? I was in a cranky, grumpy mood. And he knocks on my door and I go to open it and he's just, just radiating joy. And he had a dog treat ready for my dog, Paladin. And this interaction was all of two seconds. And I will never forget it. I would like to be the kind of joy wizard that that man is. Another time, a couple months ago, this UPS driver knocked on our door for a pickup. And I opened the door and I realized what I had done. And I said, I am so sorry. I forgot to pack it up. Do you know what he says to me? He says, don't worry about it. I'll just pick it up another day. Just leave a note, let me know. And I had the opportunity then to share a little bit of joy with this joy wizard and pack up that package for pickup, put it in a tote and leave a box of chocolates with a note about how wonderful a human being he is. And I know I'll never, I'll never measure up. I will never be as good a person as a UPS driver. Now FedEx, they, they can just go to hell. No, FedEx, I don't exit my side door of my garage, which is clearly overgrown with brush since I am very lazy. I obviously do not use that door. Why do you keep leaving my packages there? I swear, I once watched a FedEx driver just, just come to a slow roll and throw my package out on the gravel and take off. This other time, my husband took a day off of work to receive a very important package. We watched the FedEx driver roll up, not even get out, and then leave. When my husband checked tracking on this package, the driver's note was that he tried and no one was home. We were standing at the window watching you, FedEx driver. Maybe you should try to be more like your big brother, UPS driver. Everybody loves him. I'm sorry, this really turned into a rant against FedEx and I, and I really wanted to focus on the joy wizards that UPS drivers are. Anyway, I didn't think about a way I should end this, so um, bye.